Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and today we're starting a series on Regency Solitaire. Now if we look at the options, there's really nothing as far as options, whether you want it full screen or, you know, or a few things. The biggest option is playing cards versus regular cards, as so we don't need to really cover that, so we can just start playing the game now. So, with the coming of Windows 10, Solitaire is no longer... Fully Kim George free? the Third has fallen ill. His Let's flamboyant son, the Prince of Wales, now sits upon the throne. Welcome to the Regency era. Hmm. High-spirited Bella is the eldest daughter of a respectable family. This is an interesting way to start a solitaire game. She dreams of dancing in fashionable ballrooms and winning the heart of a handsome suitor. Perhaps even the sophisticated and most eligible, Lord Henry Worthington. But Bella's hopes have been dashed, now that her foolish brother Edward has gambled away the family fortune, leaving her facing an arranged marriage to her odious neighbor, Mr. Bleakley. Can Bella restore her family's wealth and reputation? And will her dreams come true. Very dramatic way to start a solitaire. So, unlike just solitaire that you would get on Windows, this has a whole story to it. So there's a set number of games, and if you're, uh, to be more specific, we're going to be playing Klondike, Solitaire. There's hundreds and hundreds of solitaire games. Solitaire just means it's played with a deck of cards by yourself, uh, basically. Uh, but Klondike is the most popular. The second most popular, or well known, would be Free Cell or For Free. Same one. So, should I play this on normal or hard? Uh, it's solitaire. Let's just play on hard. It can't be that hard. You have this Bella's Home we can click on. I haven't looked at any of this. It doesn't look like there's anything else we can click on right now besides the first level and that. So I imagine if they're giving us the ability uh, to pick normal or hard, they've picked out two very specific winnable solitaire games because not all solitaire games are winnable. Uh, but, let's see, set as desktop wallpaper, no thank you. So we're starting off as poor and they, they're they going to increase our value as we get money. So that's all we need to know, I guess, let's start. Yeah, so you don't get, uh, you don't get solitaire free anymore. So I've been looking for something that, that you could get on Steam so it would actually be in your collection and this was the only one I could even kind of find there's an odd oddity in Steam for all of the potentially terrible games that get put up there very few potentially good games that are just simplistic any programmer could probably make a solitaire game in uh, a short amount of time easily it's just not there uh, I guess I'm going to have to read the dialogue here. Papa, when will we hold the ball? Enough, Bella. The extravagance of holding a ball at our humble abode is well beyond our means. My sister and I will become old maids if we don't go out into society. If you want if you want for a husband, our neighbor Mr. Bleakley would make an acceptable suitor, surely. I should die of boredom if we were to marry. Mama, uh, husband, will you stop extolling the virtues of that man bleakly? I declare he is the most odious gentleman in the country. Bella can do better. Pug? I'm not sure pugs existed during this time frame, but they may have. They may have been all the rage, actually. Margaret, dearest, calm yourself and become acquainted with the facts if you please. I cannot settle any fortune upon Bella. A fact that Bleaky is willing to overlook. Indeed, we should consider ourselves thankful that he is making an offer of marriage. 
Mama, Mama, I received a letter. My godmother, Lady Fleetwood, has invited me to the Grand Ball in Bath. Finally, a dream come true. How wonderful. You will be dancing among England's most fashionable and eligible gentlemen. You must consider your wardrobe. Fetch my old trunk. There's some finery inside from my own debutante days. Debutante days. Well, this does not look like Klondike Solitaire. I guess this is, is, is more like for free or free so. Click on the table tableau card one number higher or lower than the face up foundation card and at the bottom of the screen note an ace can go on the king and vice versa. Oh this is not free cell either. This is a different one. I wish they would name it, but okay. I can do this. So this is just a clear so the things you would want to do is something like this. Nine, eight, nine. Now there are no more valid moves. Uh, so you need to draw a new card from the top. That's fine. So if I could get three, four, five, four, five. And I don't believe I have any more moves, so we'll do it again. So do I want to go ace? If there was another king, I would, but it's better to go queen, jack. Do I go queen or ten? This decision is really just going to have to be based on the number of cards below. If I take the ten, it's going to have an empty slot there that I don't think we can put any extra cards. So that's not going to help. So it's better to do the queen. And then I think that means no more moves. So here we are at 8. So do I want to go 8, 7, no I want to go 8, 9, 10, and swatch, swap to the next one. Nine is useless so we have to move on to the next one. Five is useless now we're starting to run out of options. Three is useless. Ten is useless. Ten is useless. Uh, this is an interesting art style on these cards. It's pretty cool but we are certainly at 1080p having the edges just stretched so uh, there is this border that the mouse can't go on on the left and right and I wish that these were a little bit scaled up a little bit bigger cards and they took up a full screen with something a little more obviously the art is just getting stretched here five doesn't work eight will work so do I take this one or this one it kind of doesn't matter this then this and that gave me 10 key coins and we're getting a multiplier what is in, what increases the multiplier I wonder that's something not related to solitaire the idea of getting coins for playing solitaire is definitely an intriguing one because it means there's that chance of of playing solitaire for a lot of times. Now I know somebody who plays free cell solitaire basically all day every day and giving a person like that the proper motivation to continue to enjoy the game they enjoy for such an incredibly long time unlike most gamers who just play a game and then get bored with it after a few weeks and then don't go back to play it until a couple years later at most. Uh, so having an element like this is nice. Unfortunately, I think this game is going to come to the to an abrupt ending, and that's going to be its its 
its major downfall is because I think at a certain point we'll have enough gold, we'll unlock everything, we'll get the final cutscene, and we'll feel like we are done with the game. So, this is interesting. I failed. I've not been able to get everything. So, in the hand. That was pretty good, but not uh, not great. Now, why did I get a record combo of five? Is that because you break your combos when you turn the cards? I guess? And so, hand one, I get a star. Did I play it perfectly? According to the game, no. And so the chapter goals was find mama's trunk, and we did that. All right, so let's move forward. And we can set this as a desktop wallpaper. While this art is cool and all, I, I think they're they're certainly making too much about it. Much, much ado about nothing here. Uh, sure, you could have a screenshot button in your game at any point and hide it maybe even in the corner since this is a mouse-only game. But to, to take the time to pause gameplay and make me click continue just so I can click make a desktop wallpaper. It seems ridiculous. Alright. Mama's trunk is hidden under some cards. Find it to progress to the next ch chapter. So, I assume this is the same rules as before. There's the trunk right there, so I just have to clear off these four. So it's almost the same rules, but slightly different. Uh, so one more and I'll, I'll be done. I don't know if the game is going to let me continue playing after that, though. This... We want to get as much coinage, even though that's gone back down to zero. I, I would have preferred if it stayed, or if you had two counters, but I guess it makes it simpler to understand if you just have the one of the current amount you've collected. So that's it. Mama's trunk revealed all oh, wonderful. You found my trunk, Bella. Look inside for something you can wear to the ball. New item. There's an exquisite fan for Mama's trunk. Hmm. See, this just feels like one of those, uh, like targeted to girl games. I would call them. Uh, combo started. You start a combo by playing six cards in a row. Combos boost the gold multiplier, so keep them going for more gold. Click end combo when you need to draw. A new card for the stockpile. Ah, so that's what that's all about. Hmm. Unfortunately, I have to end it, but now I have a multiply of 1.2, and I guess each one of these little dots, one of these pips, might work towards the next combo. Let's see. This, this, this. This, 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 this. Hmm. This one. So now we're gonna start running out of options. I need an ace or queen, and an eight or a seven. Here's a, wait, no, an eight or a ten. So now I need an 8 or a 10, there's a 10, there's an 8. So that gets me a perfect for clearing the board. That's nice. So that got me 60, which gives me a bonus of 500 
with zero cards left, which means in total I got 732 gold. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Let's click next and see what happens. Charlotte, dear sister, I'm so delighted for you. When a young lady attends a ball, it is always the start of an adventure. Thank you, Charlotte. If only you were ch that were true. Our brother Edward, who I cannot help but love despite him being a complete greenhorn and losing all our money, leaves me little option but to resign myself to a, a future with Bleakley. But you must hold fast to your dreams, Bella. You m have been practicing your dance steps for so long. If Lady Fortune truly smiles upon us, you could even hold the ball here someday. Bleakley need not be invited. Now that would be give me great joy, but we can bet dream. Come help me get my things in order for the journey. And so you can skip the story, but then you get this. This is basically like a a princess dress-up game with solitaire in it, and that seems a little strange. This is the one solitaire game I can find on Steam. Why aren't there more? Put down in the comments if you know a, a, just a simple solitaire game. It doesn't have to be complicated. Sure, I would love it if it worked in VR and had 3D graphics and all kinds of effects and you can do all kinds of customization like custom backgrounds and music uh, playlists and all of that. And I've seen some games that have done that. There was a 3D Mahjong t solitaire game that was that I don't think is actually on Steam, but it was freely available on the internet that had so many features like that, which was amazing considering you're, you're playing a pretty basic tile matching game for that. So why is there not something like that on Steam? Or why can't I find it? Maybe I'm just a bad searcher. Anyways. Uh, Bell's Ballroom, a good Bell's makeover project, turned the antiquated room into a ravishing Regency Ballroom and shot for the latest fashion accessories. So, fan, I have this so I can buy it. Uh, since it's free, it allows you to collect, it allows you to collect wild cards. Interesting. So all of a sudden, the clothes you're wearing are going to actually change the gameplay. I would have sworn this was going to be completely separate from the game. So I can buy this stunning classical ballroom dress, display so many cards that are in the stockpile. That would be useful. And these long white gloves are perfect for wearing in the evening function. Gives you two undoes per hand. Interesting. So I can't purchase this other one. Did not have enough money. And see, this makes it the wallpaper. So, and this just turns off the interface. So you don't have to look at it. Interesting. Although it only turns up that. So that's level one. So we're gonna go through, I guess, one level each time on hard and this series is not gonna be that long which seems really ridiculous with like in comparison when I know people have played solitaire like 30 40 games a day nearly every day of their life that the big fans of solitaire it seems really ridiculous that you would do this you you would have to go through this whole rigmarole and have all these extra features that most solitaire players would probably not appreciate uh, at all because it changes the core of the game. Plus this isn't Klondike Solitaire which I thought it was but this is not Klondike or for free it kind of looks more like uh, there was a pyramid one that is somewhat like that. Well, you match it cards that are above or below uh, any any suit or any color, which actually makes it a pretty simple solitaire game. But it may get more difficult. 
Anywho, that's it for this recording. As always, I end my episodes the same way. I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps me out. If you want to support me even further, you can click on my name, Rhino. On the right is a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google+, or Steam, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.